What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can texture a UGC concept or any model. This is, you know, for Roblox hats, but it works for any item, just how to texture in Blender. And here you can see I have just a very simple beanie. Oh, I need to all join this into a mesh, so I'm going to go select one, so you then control J. So now this is one mesh, and I'm going to be showing you a very basic way to texture your models using the color palette. So basically, you can basically just uh, go to the texture tab down here with your model that you want to texture just selected press new come down on this little yellow dot my base color and go to image texture and here is where you have to pick one of two ways you can either get a color palette off google and use that to color your model or you can make your own in blender i'm going to show you both methods in this video they're both very quick and very easy so we can just go here new and um just name it diy color palette so you're going to be making your own palette this way i like to go 256 by 256 because that is the roblox ugc limit and just blank and then you can actually change the color of it as well here so you can just go white and as you can see then it just made it white a bit whiter and this is a texture on now usually to view this you have to come to this mode in the textures so if you click on uh, the, yeah, the texture mode up here if you're on solid mode usually it won't show textures so you can go there and now you want to make sure that you've again got your hat or whatever you're texturing to be selected and you want to go to texture paint so now you're going to want to decide what colors your hat will be this won't go onto your hat as it is but if you come here to this dot here or this cube and pick the colors so for example i want to make a pink beanie so i can go here and then just put the pink that i want there i know that it will look like it's on the model there but you, i'll show you in a bit how you'll control where it goes and then so yeah say for example i want like a pink and a pink and purple beanie there so i've got those two shades i might want to actually do another shade whatever in the middle and if you've got all this space and you could if you wanted lots of colors change the radius down here and then do yeah smaller colors so you could just do that and just here i'm just showing you a lot of different shades and you, yeah, you can even change the, the darkness and stuff here so you can see you can make a massive color palette so here this way now you've got all your colors selected you can go to uv editing right next to texture paint and here it will go into edit mode on your right and you'll see this on the left so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select the parts of your model i'm assuming you've already done the basics blender you'll now have to select like a loop here so you can select all these loops using alt and click so you, you can see here I've got them all selected. If you want to um, use like a gradient, for example, you might want to do, um, unwrap it again instead of just using these dots and stuff. So you can just go into like a front view here, U, uh, to bring up the U um, unwrapping modes, and then just do project from view. This way, it'll just nicely project it. But here we've just got block colors, so it doesn't really matter that much. But as you can see, you've got a really, really nice color there. And I think we're gonna do the bobble, the exact same color. So here, again, it comes with automatic UVs, but I'm just gonna, unwrap it again using project from view and there that's it done and then we're going to want to texture this last bit here so we've got to just select it all like so and again i'm just going to project from view it's simple block colors doesn't matter too much and there we've got pink but we've also got some other colors here we can experiment with and i really like that color combination for the beanie honestly that's a really simple way to texture and now i'm going to show you one other quick way what you can do you can just look up color palette as you can see right here there's a million billion other color palettes you can pick from and yeah you can also say gradient color palette and you get something more like you know gradients to add some more i guess detail it's not exactly detail but it allows for your models to look a bit more than just static block colors if you look up this infenza color palette i don't know if that's how you spell it but if you spell it like i just did there you'll see uh, a lot of things but this is the one that most people use this um this one by this youtuber called like infenza infenzi i don't know anyway yeah this is a very popular color palette and i'm going to show you how to use this in my demonstration now so you have to download that to your pc and then you can always just go here press the add button and we'll take off this other texture go to new base color image texture so you want to go and um yeah with the the texture you go to open and then you have to navigate through your files um for the the texture you want so here in this case i'm going to be using that color palette that i showed you so as you can see here if i um go over to uv editing mode sometimes it'll show you the old texture just click this little drop down here and there's loads of different ones 
and then select the color palette. So as you can see here, if I select everything, you can see the two different UV shells. You can literally just move them around. I'm gonna make these a little smaller so that they have the same shade. But if we can go here, um, I'm gonna go for the same color scheme, but I think I'm gonna go for something like that I do quite like, but I feel like the, the colors don't clash enough. I, I, I do quite like that. That kind of works. That looks all right. So you want to use gradients. You can do it like that. This isn't to make something cool looking. I just want to show you the basics of texturing. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below tutorials you want. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.